A lot of you know I'm a huge fan of Venezuela and the Bolivarian Revolution, and I'm always saying that U.S. socialists should learn from what Venezuelan organizers have done. However, Venezuela's government and the ruling Socialist Party are far from being above critique, and some of the strongest critiques for a long time have come from the Communist Party of Venezuela, which is separate from peace of the ruling Socialist Party. Recently, the Venezuelan government has gone ahead with opening up to more private investment within special economic zones, attempting to replicate the success and growth of China's economic system and circumnavigate the murderous U.S. sanctions which have been held on Venezuela for years now. The Venezuelan Communist Party has been against this move every step of the way and has criticized it as a move towards neoliberalism. And I think that these are critiques worth listening to because the Venezuelan Communist Party has been at the center of their class struggle for years. I'm talking since before the 1960s when Venezuela was run by a series of U.S.-backed dictators and faux populist social democrats who ultimately served the U.S. and cracked down violently on the communists. Now the Venezuelan communists are demanding justice for two of their members who were recently killed, which continues a string of violence against organizers and adds to the repression that the Communist Party has been facing and talking about for a while now. So what does this mean? Should you denounce Nicolas Maduro and the ruling Socialist Party who swept the last elections and support the U.S.'s sanctions aimed at causing regime change which have decreased Venezuela's government revenue 99%? Of course not. Anti-imperialism and support for national sovereignty is principle number one for Marxist-Leninists. However, this does not mean that the ruling Socialist Party or Nicolas Maduro are above critique, especially when those critiques are coming from the Venezuelan people who are involved in organizing on the ground. Just because we don't want the U.S. to overthrow a socialist government or we like a lot of the things that a socialist government does, it doesn't mean they're perfect. Class struggle continues under socialism. This is something Chinese intellectuals talk a lot about, as well as Soviet intellectuals, honestly. Back when there was still a Soviet Union. <laughs> Just remember that our support lies with the Venezuelan people, not the Venezuelan government. And we can support and pay close attention to their struggle while also denouncing the evils of Western imperialism. Especially because a lot of the debate between the Socialist Party and the Communist Party revolves around how Venezuela should react to U.S. sanctions and go about combating U.S. imperialism.